There are secret parts of Backrooms Level Zero that I guarantee you had no idea existed until now. Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video I'm going to be starting the sub-level series, which of course is where I go over sub-layers, secret parts, secret levels, under or beneath the most popular levels. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the video, shall we? Also, go check out my third channel, Spoogly, if you like creepy stuff. So, for this episode, I'm going to be talking about a couple of Backrooms Level Zero's secret sublevels. These areas can be useful, and they might even be able to help you skip a few levels. But, some of them are terrifying, scary, and life-threatening. It's all here in this video, so stay tuned. The first one for today is called Level 0 0.1, or the Danger Zone. So Level 0 as a whole is a Class 1 difficulty, but this sublevel, 0.1, is classified as a Class 5 difficulty, and is very, very dangerous. The level's layout is of course similar to the main level, with its structure and design and overall vibe, but there are also a ton of differences of course. The first one being that the tint of the lighting here is always a reddish orange color, and the wallpaper and the carpet itself is that same reddish orange. In this 0.1 area, everything seems to decay. Unlike the regular level 0, everything here is kind of like just breaking down. And it gets worse the further you go into it. On top of the creepy lights, people have also reported extreme feelings of anxiousness and paranoia when getting near or stuck in the sub layer. And this paranoia can get so bad that you could go insane. Which would be Kind of embarrassing if you didn't make it past the very first Backrooms level, but oh well, that's why you have me here. There's a specific event that also happens here as well, uh, where at random times every four to five hours, all of the lights will shut off and it'll go pitch black. There will be no light source. And of course, that's scary, but wait, it gets worse. Because during this light out period, entities seemingly crawl out of the cracks in the floor and the cracks in the wall, and they start to hunt. What are they hunting? You, of course. Most of the time, all a person can hear is a few grunts and maybe some glowing eyes and breathing until the entity gets right on you, and well, after that, it's probably going to be the end of your journey. Good luck! In order to get to this sublevel 0.1, you have to crawl through a vent in the regular main part of Backrooms Level 0, and these vents are not always in the same spots. In fact, they teleport different places, but you might get stuck in the vent if you try to crawl here. Just don't come here. To exit the sublevel, you can find a glass door in the wall, and then open it up, walk through it, and you'll be sent to level 1.1. So if you want to skip an entire couple levels, it might be worth coming here, or it might not considering you probably don't want to be eaten by something. The next sub-level for level 0 is level 0 0.555, or the Blue Halls, which has an undetermined difficulty because it's dangerous sometimes, but it's also safe sometimes. As with all the sub-levels of level 0, the architecture is similar to the main level. Except here, all the rooms and walls and roof and everything seems to be a deep blue color. On top of that, this section is very non-Euclidean and confusing. Way more confusing than the actual original level 0, or even more confusing than 0.1 from earlier. 0.555 just throws you for a loop. In these halls, there's random furniture and stools and everything like that. Typically, it's all broken, and other weird things are also broken, like bed frames and that kind of thing. Along some of the halls, there are pipes that are running parallel with the wall, and in these pipes, there's probably going to be liquid pain, so watch out for that, and don't touch it, because they're supposed to be hot, and you don't want to burn yourself. The blue lights here are kind of normal, they just buzz a little bit, and are kind of calming, like a calming fluorescent sense. But there is a glitchy sound that's also around the entire level, which would get annoying after a while, and no one really knows where it comes from, but it's just a glitch sound. Now this sublevel is thought to be very small, but since it's got non-Euclidean geometry and the layout like that, it actually seems bigger than it is. Deeper into the level, there's a tiny chance that you'll walk into a hallway or a room that has a broken ceiling. If you find that broken ceiling or broken roof, it can actually lead to a different part of the back rooms. 
Because in these spots where the roof is broken, there's like a purple sand on the ground under that hole. And above you in the hole is a black hole, wormhole type thing. It seems to be a teleportation to a different dimension. And it's not just a regular black hole. It's an entire purple void of sorts. If you crawl up in it, you'll find yourself in this purple, calming, ambient void with this relaxing aura around it. It's like a sleep deprivation tank, except everything is purple and relaxing. To be honest, I'd probably never leave if I found this. But if you do leave this purple void, then there's a chance you might run into a rarer part of the blue halls called the cyan halls, which are just like the blue halls, except the blue on the wall is lighter. This area is barren of resources and anything useful, to be honest. And you get trapped in the cyan halls if you come here, because when you turn around to go back where you came from, the path will be gone. So, nice. To enter this sublevel, you can find a small blue glowing vent in the regular level zero. And to exit, you can walk around until you find a blue exit door, open it, and it'll take you out. Probably to a dangerous level, though. So, yeah, would not recommend coming to level 0.555. And lastly for the video is a sublevel called level 0.111 or water damage. This one's probably the most simple of the sublevels for today, but it's classified as a class 2E because the environment is the worst part. 0.111 is a damp and gross and rotting section of level 0. Simple as that. The floors, the walls, the ceiling, the roof, and the carpet, everything is decaying and wet. It's all waterlogged and dripping and it squishes every time you take a step. There's mold also on everything and in every corner, and it's all just grotesque to look at and be in. You just feel nasty being there. In this sublevel, unlike the other ones covered today, there are a few weird entities. Specifically, there's this weird leech entity that's been seen and nicknamed the Carpet Leech. They look like a pale, regular leech, except they're bigger, and they try to latch onto the skin of people that walk past. So watch out for that if you come to this water damage part. This level can be accessed by walking deep into a liquid pain puddle in level zero, and you can exit the sublevel by knocking down a whole wall and being sent to level 14. So it might be worth coming to this nasty waterlogged sublevel if you want to skip level zero through 14. Let me know what you think. I probably would actually do it. That way I wouldn't have to deal with anything until level 14. Thank you for watching this sub-level video. Let me know if you want me to do more of these on the other main levels. To be honest, I like how creative and expansive these make the entire lore, and hope you do too. Thank you all for the support on the channel. We are on the road to 600k, so if you want to help out, drop a sub, leave a like, do all that stuff. As always, I hate asking for it, but I gotta do what I gotta do to get to 600k. So at 600k, I'm actually gonna be shaving my head bald. So if you want to see bald Brugley, help me get there. Tell anyone about me, and I'd appreciate it. I love and appreciate all of you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace and love.